day, Miss A, and happy Monday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Let's get to our birthday list for today. Hmm, let's see, happy birthday today to Sophia Bullis in our fourth grade, Gavin Burbage in our second grade. All right, lunch for today, friends, is Meatless Monday. We have the pizza crunchers with the sauce inside. We also have the fruit cheese and whole grain flatbread bento box, grilled cheese and bagel lunch. All right, today, friends, we have a very special guest. We've had a couple of special guests over the course of the year. We had Ethan, we had Nick. Today, we have Honoron from our fifth grade. Honoron, come on over. So I've asked Honoron to come on our show today because he is doing something super smart, getting smarter every single day. Take a look at what he has here. So he has three notebooks. Yeah, I have three notebooks over here. Okay, what are those? Um, Bengali notebooks. Bengali is a language from South Asia. Yeah, so Anuran is uh, Bengali, and if you go down our culture corridor, you'll see the flag of Bangladesh. It's green with a red circle, and that's where his family is from, and you speak Bengali at home, correct? That's the language from Bangladesh, but not only does he speak it, what are you doing? Um, writing Bengali also. Okay, so he's not just writing Bengali. Could you hold on to these? Okay, this is an entire notebook of Bengali. Take a look at the work here. Take a look at all of the time that he has spent practicing Bengali. Now, can we see the most recent book? This is the black and white one, right? All right, now, for example, I was looking through, maybe it's this one. Hmm, let me see. I also learned Bengali from a teacher. I have a teacher. Yeah, so tell us about your uh, teacher. So my teacher, um, she works at BIPA, Bangladesh Institute of Performing Arts. Um, I go there every week, um, every Sundays. Um, also, um, I have like three Bengali teachers. So um, that was really useful, um, helpful for me to learn even more Bengali. And I'm really proud of that. Yeah, we're really proud of you also. So here, for example, is... Uh, Bengali and its vocabulary like we would learn in our classes. So you learn a new word, you write it, and then write the definition. Well, here's what Anuran is working on in Bengali. And like he just said, he has different teachers that he goes to that help him a lot. And not only can he speak it, now he can write it, which for him has become pretty easy, right? Yeah. You're getting really good at uh, writing um, in Bengali. So, for example, um, do you want to tell us about this one? Oh, yeah. Um, Go ahead and show them. I made a drawing of a bee, and also um, the head, the head over here, it's um, a Bengali vowel um, called Choreo. So, in B, you say Oli, and this vowel is similar to the head over here. Yeah, how cool is that? So I asked um, Anuran to come on and share with us some of what he's learning about other languages. So not only getting very good at English, but very good at Bengali. And many of our boys and girls speak another language that we can learn from, that we can take into our language and get better at speaking English, but also the language of other children and learning about them. Is there anything else you would like to share with us about uh, all of your work here? Well, um, if you... Look at my um, middle one. This one? No, oh, no, this one. This one. Okay. Um, over here, let me just find the page quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know where you're going. Go ahead. It's a little further back. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, this the one. next one, right? Next one. Yeah, this there one. it is. Mm -hmm. So, um, in Bengali, there's 50 letters um, called characters 
Um, 39 of them are consonants and 11 of them are vowels. So here are um, all the consonants. Yeah. So uh, in English, there are 26. So there's uh, 51, right? No, 50 over here. Oh, 50. Okay. So almost double the number of characters in uh, Bengali than in English. And that was the consonants that he just showed you. And? Um, and for some of the letters, I wrote the pronunciation for them. Like this one is Tali Bisho. This one is Oboe Shunura. And this one is Wurgiojo. Wow. So maybe you can come back again and share some more at a later date. Yeah. Um, but we just wanted to say, well done. You are getting smart every single day. Mighty mind right here. Well done. So, wow, super cool. If you know another language, because, you know, I learned a, uh, as much as I can. I know a little bit of Spanish, but, um, you know, share it. All right. So, we have a short week this week. So, we have a wordle, but it's a short word. And it's got the most used vowel in it. Again, this is about McVeigh. Hmm, three letters. Hmm, and this word has the most used consonant in it. Three letters, what could it be? All right, and our mystery number, blank six, blank six. All right, blank six, our mystery number, has a vowel in it, a vowel, only one. All right, let's see if you can figure those out. And now we have our Mighty Kind Moment of Day, drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. So our Mighty Kind Moment of Day today goes to Penny in our kindergarten who was walking through the APR hallway where our pre-K is and was reminding others, this is the learning hallway. Yes, our pre-K is in the APR hallway too. And Penny realized that, decided to do something kind for our pre-K friends. You go, Penny. That's what we should all be doing, thinking about others. Why? Because we're mighty minds, not only that mighty kind, mighty minds, and everyday boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.